Hello, my internet friends, how are you? Uh, Trey Ratcliffe here, and I want to make a quick and dirty tutorial video to show you how Plotograph Pro works, all right? Uh, by the way, check out this shirt, pretty radical, eh? Burning Man-esque. Um, I'm actually coming to you from a hotel room in Dallas, Texas. Uh, I'm not back in my studio in New Zealand, so you'll have to deal with not, not perfect quality tutorial video, sorry about that. Anyway, I want to show you how fun quick and easy this is to use. All right, first let me show you uh, some of the, my favorite photographs. I made hundreds of these things. I've been testing it for a while. Um, let me show you some of my favorite results and then I'll show you how it works inside the tool. Okay. All right, let's start with this one. This is actually the first one I released because uh, it's a very good example of what it can do. Uh, this is at Burning Man. And one thing to keep in mind is that this came from a single JPEG file. There's no video, no nothing. All right, let me show you some more. Okay, here's another example. This is in Iceland. This is Gullfoss. You see I've animated all the water. You might even see there's a soft mist that's kind of rotating up and around. So you have different things going at different speeds. All right, next one. All right, here's one of my favorite ones. This is from Dubai. Okay, remember this just started with a single JPEG. Right? Um, you can see the clouds are moving kind of left to right. And if you look very closely, there's a subtle little thing. You can see traffic moving down in the lower right and along the bottom. Super cool. All right, this is a fun one. Uh, everyone seems to like this one. This is a huge wave crashing on a rock in, in Hawaii. You kind of see how there's sort of a smoothness to it. There's a looping that repeats itself. Here's a shot from Namibia where everything is spinning around the South Pole. Here's another cool one from Burning Man. Uh, if you look close, you can see her dress kind of flapping in the breeze. Um, now this is an animated GIF, and that's one of the many outputs you can do. You can, you can do a movie file, you can do an MP4, uh, whatever you want. Here's the Forbidden City. Uh, this is a place I was arrested for flying a quadcopter in an ill-advised flight. Here's Big Sur, California. And you can see how I've used like different directional vectors to move the clouds in different ways. It kind of swirls up from the right and goes to the left. Uh, here's another radical one from Burning Man. Um, I just love this stuff. I find it completely mesmerizing. Okay, I'll show you one more and then we'll get into it. Okay, this is a bit of a weird example uh, because this is a painting I made about six years ago, a digital painting, and what I did is I came in and I animated the painting to kind of bring a new life to it. I guess that's one of the most exciting things about this is you can take like any picture, right, from your entire photography life, load it into here, create an animated GIF or whatever, and then share it online and you know bring new life to it. So I thought this would be an apropos time to show you our new store on Stuck in Customs. It's store.stuckincustoms.com. We've got all kinds of goodies on here. We have Lightroom presets, Aurora HDR, lots of tutorials, all kinds of goodies. Uh, that's our new bag on Kickstarter. Uh, man, you'll just love it. By the way, it's 20% off everything in the store uh, now that we've uh, launched it. Sort of a launch month special. All right, so go check it out. Eventually, we're going to make uh, some more of these and put them on. And this is just a cookie freebie. By the way, as I tell you this, um, the interface in Photograph Pro is changing every day, right? It's a brand new product. Uh, so some of the stuff I show you may be outdated by the time you watch this. The icons may be in different places, uh, blah, blah, blah. You get it. You know how this stuff goes. So I've already done this animation. Let me press play to get a preview to show you what it looks like, and then we'll break it down. So you can see the clouds moving cleanly behind the tree. It looks super cool, doesn't it? Uh, this is a very subtle one. Right? Uh, sometimes I go extreme with my animations, sometimes I go very subtle. And this preview is only playing at 6 frames per second. Uh, the actual one uh, can be played back at, or exported, at 25, 30, or 60 frames per second. All right? But you kind of get an idea of what's going on. All right, so what's happening here? Let me hit pause. And what's happening is we have masked off this bottom area and most of the tree. Okay? Let's zoom in a little bit. So you can see where this mask is, right? What I've done is I've used a brush here, and I've kind of brushed in that part of the tree. All right, you can make it bigger or smaller. So you have the brush and the eraser tool, like if I got it a little too close here, I can make some adjustments in here like this, all right? Uh, you see how it works. So you kind of carve it out a little bit like that, right? So you carve out what you don't want to move, really, right? And now uh, we're going to show you what the animation points are, okay? So do you see these things? It starts with yellow and ends with blue. All right. If we want to make our own, again, we can just click, and then we pick the arrow, and then we drag it off in this direction. 
Now in this case, this is a very simple example where they all kind of go in the same direction. See? You can zoom back out. So I can even grab all of them, and if I wanted the clouds to move in the other direction, I could pick up the edges and move it in the other direction like this. And now you can see the clouds going in the opposite direction. Okay. Let me show you one more example where not all the arrows are going in the same direction and not all at the same speed. Okay, so this is that Dubai photo from before, you may remember. You can see up here in the sky, um, we have all kinds of different directional things, just slightly different, just to mix it up a little bit, just to have a little bit of motion in the ocean, so to speak. And you can kind of see the distance here, right? If this line is very short, it won't move very far, but it's very long, then the clouds will move super fast. Okay, I've them all kind of moving at generally the same rate. But if we go down here and look at the traffic, you'll see that these are much shorter vectors, right? Which means the traffic is going to move much slower, that kind of subtle effect that I like. You can see it kind of moving across here as well. Okay, You can see that I masked in the building. Um, I've also done something else here. I've added little anchor points uh, right along the edge. Um, these kind of pin it down in a way, right? So you don't have to animate all those points. Whenever you drop a point and don't animate it, things kind of get stuck right there. They won't, uh, they won't move because we don't want to drag the building off, right? Even though we've masked it, sometimes I put a few extra anchor points there as well. And let me show you how the export options work, just in case you're wondering. Uh, so after you're all done, uh, you go here to File, you do your little Save or whatever, and then you say Export As, all right? You have all kinds of options here. You have a movie file, MP4, zip file, or GIF. Okay, GIF is very web friendly. Um, you can type in whatever dimensions you want here. Um, like let's say you're going to make a, a movie file. You can make it 19 by 20. Oh, good. Nice typing there, Rackliff. Okay, 19, 20, 1920 by, well, 1161. You could crop it later. Uh, you could loop the animation, all right, because it's going to come off at 30 frames per second. Uh, it generates a two or three second file. So we'll loop around and this will come out to be about a minute long. Okay, does that make sense? Then you click export. All right. And then you can go see all of your exports. You can see these are all my various exports. I've been doing all kinds of stuff today. Uh, GIFs, MP4s, all kinds of jazz, all at different uh, resolutions for whatever you might want. Sometimes I make them smaller when I share on the web. Um, these are some of my projects um, in one of my, uh, one of my galleries. These are all the different things I've been working on. Like for example, I'll just show you one more. I know, I was going to make this a quick tutorial, but then I got all excited. Again, this thing was extremely simple to do, right? Um, actually, there's an auto-masking option, right? You can click here and add area to mask, and you can see that red line. I just drew this red line and a few others, and it just grabbed all that automatically. And then subtract area to mask, I just drew that green line up there. So it like auto-masked the whole thing for me, so it knew what part I wanted to animate and what part I wanted to stay still. And let me click play so you can see what this looks like. There you go, super smooth. This is Mount Cook in New Zealand, by the way. Uh, these are called lenticular clouds. Uh, they don't quite move that fast, but you get the idea. Remember, this is just playing at six frames per second. You can imagine how smooth and buttery it is at 30 frames per second. Okay, so I made a special portfolio on Squarespace, which shows animated GIFs really well. And it's just my photographs, just these things I've been working on. Uh, so you can head over there. Here's the address. It's trade-ratcliffe.squarespace.com. Um, there's different categories. Then when you come in here, you can click through, see some of the different animations, and read a little bit about it. Um, it will give you some ideas, um, inspire you in different ways. Um, great fun, great fun. You'll have a great time there. And plus, this talks a little bit more about the, uh, the process, um, how it works, um, so on and so forth. You're going to love it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, quick tutorial. Um, again, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know on social media. Um, and as you start making these things, um, let me know. I want to see them. Share them online with me. Um, it's a pretty exciting time. It's great to bring these old photos back to life. Um, I find them very mesmerizing. You can stare at them forever. Uh, so I can't wait to see what you create also. All right. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Thank you, my internet friends. And I will see you next time.